Hello guys and welcome back to my little office here in 737 DIY Sim. We're sat at the computer and there has been a call for help. I've had three people on my Discord and my Patreon ask for help in the last few hours uh, and it's all to do with ProSim Mobile Flight integration. So this video is solely for showing you how phenomenal Mobile Flight has become. Hi Sebastian, big shout out to you mate. Uh, in how easy it is made programming uh, the 737 on any project. In fact, ProSim also do the A320 and the 737 Max. It's the same principle, it's the same procedure. And what we're gonna do is, I've, I just happen to have my MCP out of the cockpit while I'm rebuilding it. And it's sat in front of me on the desk here. Uh, we've got ProSim, uploaded on the the main computer here on the left the main screen and uh, we've got maybe flight on the right now what's programmed right now you can see you've got all the digits on the MCP what's programmed right now is the old way which is using FSU IPC let me show you the old way first and the old way was we used to open the, the line we used to edit it and it should open into the maybe flight config page for that exact one example I think this is the this is the captain's course display it is. It comes at the top there, look, it shows us there. And we used to have to put what these things called offsets in. And these are hexadecimal codes, four digits long, and you had to know the size of the bytes. Uh, it was pretty simple. As long as you had an example of one, two, three, it was just a process of repeating that over and over. Uh, and then we'd go into the ProSim config, configuration. Then you need to go into combine config, which has opened on the lower screen, but here it is here. Uh, combine config there we go uh, and then you would look for MCP which is here it's going to be numerical because it's a display and there we go you would have to then copy that output which so it's, it's course which is captain's course number one and it's 5317 and this should match so 5317 and the size in bytes is 2 and there you go 16 bit that's 2 bytes uh, two bytes of eight, so 16 bits. Two bytes, each byte holding eight bits, 16 bits. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, we are talking, it's gonna be 18 months. And yeah, I apologize, this is gonna be a bit dull, but it should help out a lot of sim builders. Um, but there's a much easier way now. We don't have to program ProSim whatsoever. We can just say, goodbye ProSim, done. We still need MobiFlight now. MobiFlight is the, the crux, the heel of the whole sim process. I've showed you the old way. Now, before we go any further, let's just show you what I've got running in the background. If I grab my screen from over here, take it up so you guys can see it, Microsoft Flight Simulator is running. We're sat at St. Morgan Airport. You can see that it is early in the morning, actually really is early in the morning, and the sun is rising here in the UK. So the plane, the ProSim plane, is sat on the runway. As you know, ProSim, you don't get the cockpit, you just get the outside view. You're saving all those frame rates. Move that to one side, back out of the way. That could be just sat in the background while we're programming. It just runs relentlessly in the background. I've got it on mute, so I don't have to listen to that, the music that plays with it all the time. We've got ProSim server running. We have got ProSim display running as well. Now that's on the lower screen. You can't see it off screen but that allows me to make sure that what we see on the MCP is what we're getting on what ProSim thinks it's getting. Yep, so that's all good. I'm gonna move it off the screen, we don't need it. It's just there as a nicety. You can see that my MCP is fully working and that is because I have programmed it using FSU IPC. We don't want that anymore, it's just a long-winded way of doing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable all the lines we're not going to work on because they're all using FSU IPC. So let me just go through them. There's quite a few because there's actually quite a lot of functions on the MCP, but it's cool. Maybe Flight have done a fantastic job. They have just made it so much simpler for Joe Blogs to come on, step the part they want, and away they go. You don't need to know hexadecimal, you don't need to know offsets, it is just so simple. The only thing you do need to know is what the item is called. Hence, we're going to start with the captain's course, it's this display here, it's the one on the far left, and 
I'm going to open it up. So we're going to edit the line. That's the little pen icon. It's opening the wizard as it shows you. Okay, it's loaded up. You can see that we've got the offsets in use. So we've got uh, FSU IPC offset of 5317. That's the hexadecimal figure. And then we've got the size in bytes. Don't need to know any of that anymore. We just go into Prosyn Data Ref, select it from the list. And then we go to search. Uh, we know it's the MCP. And I'm going to type in the MCP course. It's the captain, so it's number one. It's the left-hand side. And I'm going to hit OK. So I've just switched off everything out. We've only got the MCP course. And now we're going to scroll down. For me, it's at the bottom. There we go. It's the MCP captain's course. I'm going to select that line. I'm going to edit it. This is the encoder, so we can change the value. You can see that it's loaded up the old FSU IPC way. So we're going to select from the list. We're going to select Prosyn Data Ref. There we go. And we're just going to type in there, search MCP course. It's an encoder. It is the captain, so it's number one side. It's all done. All I'm going to type in here is plus one. And I'm going to copy that. That is it done. If I go to right now, again, it's got the FSU PCI FSU IPC data. And I'm going to hit paste this time. Automatically enters it in. But this time, because we're going to the right, it needs to be minus one. Okay, on fast left, we're going to hit paste again. So it copies the prosim data in. Again, it's going to be plus 10. We want to go up 10 fast. On right, we need to get rid of, sorry, on fast right, we need to get rid of the FSU IPC data again. We're going to put paste. Puts our data in for us. And this time it's going to be minus 10. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to grab the encoder. And there we go. So that's nice and slow. And then if you speed it fast, it goes right round. How simple is that? It's just, all you've got to do is know what the button is called. Okay, let's do some more. Let's do the IIS, indicated airspeed. So that'd be at the top again. There it is, this next one down. Let me highlight that, edit it. So it's got the FSU IPC offsets in, which is why it's come alive. Yep, we're gonna set ProSim. And this time I'm going to go MCP IAS. Oh, hit enter. Oh, okay. It's going to set MCP and then we're going to manually find it. Speed, of course. It is numerical, it is speed. Let's hit OK. And it's now showing 100. If I sneak in the MCP display, there you go, it's showing 100 as well. We can do the encoder next, which should be at the bottom. Well, that was a bit confusing. You can see that what I've obviously done is I've duplicated the above line, but I haven't edited it correctly. So I'm just gonna delete the heading part and call it speed. There we go. We're gonna edit that box by pushing the pen icon. Gonna select ProSim from the values, I'm going to select MCP speed, now we know what it is, and it's a encoder, so it's there. I am going to put plus one, I'm going to press copy, and then I'm going to select on right, I'm going to put paste, let's put all the details in, but this time it's minus one, on left fast, paste, you can see it's very repetitive, but it's also very simple. Uh, yep, plus 10, and of course then on fast right should be minus 10, if once we've pasted the details in, minus 10. Hit OK. Let me bring in the MCP as well so you can see. And that hasn't worked because I haven't got the, the line active. Okay, there we go. One thing I am noticing is I, I never normally had a problem with encoders. Um, the encoders are so much faster. In fact, if anything, they're a little bit too fast. Because once you go, you have to go, you have to stop and then move it one. Yeah, yeah, you s ah, it's going up in twos, that's why. Okay, that's my fault. 
what's happening here is I have the wrong encoder selected for the MCP now. So we need to go into extras, settings, into mobile flight modules, and we need to find our encoders. They've been set up incorrectly for this new way, or there's a better way really. Uh, captain's course, so one D10, yes, that's correct. See, there you go, it's two D dents per cycle when it should be one D tent. IAS, I'm gonna change these all to one D tent zero zero. That's heading and finally VS. Gonna hit upload, hit OK, hit OK again and OK again. Right, let's have a look now. That's better. So every click, it goes up one. Uh, the other way, that is much better. It's absolutely fantastic and fast, instantaneous. Let's do the flight director next so we can start getting some of the buttons working. So the flight director is a switch. Let me just put in FD, see if it comes up. It is, how cool is that? Flight director, I won't make it active yet. Let's edit the line. Uh, select ProSim, search, I'm gonna put in FD. Is that gonna work? No, MCP FD, oh it does, there we go. Captains, it will be a plus one for activation, plus one. I'm gonna copy that, on release, paste, and then put zero. Oh, it's not an encoder, I was about to put minus one. Okay, so let's try the flight director switch now. So up is on, which is correct. It happens to be release on there, but it doesn't matter, just, there we go. So we can engage that. I don't want to do the whole MCP. I think you're getting the idea. You select ProSim from the value, and then you search what that button or that function is. So we'll do one last one, which is the heading, heading select button. Let me type in heading here, see what we find. Good. Wow. Okay, yes, because, well, that's, that's great. We'll do all four. So the first one should be the seven segment display. I'm gonna engage it. I'm gonna hit edit. This will be the last one we're doing, guys. So hopefully it all goes to plan. Gonna select ProSim at the top. And it's, there it is, look, system numerical, MCP, it's the full word, heading. I'm gonna hit okay. And that was the difference. It should be 358, it's showing 358. Right, heading select, that is an output. So that's gotta be the LED. Edit the line. Select ProSim. This time I know it's MCP heading because we've already had it up. It is an indicator. I can even hit test to make sure it works. It does, stop, hit okay. That's that one done. This is an input and we can see it's button. So that's the switch, edit the line. Select ProSim, search. It is MCP heading for short. There it is, copy it. Oh, I nearly pressed OK. Move over to release, paste it, and change the value to zero, hit OK. Done. Finally, the last one. This is gonna be the heading encoder, it is. There we go. So, uh, looking for ProSim, there it is. Search, MCP. Now I didn't see this come up, so I'm gonna guess it's the full word. It is encoder, heading, value, there we go. And because it's on left, it's gonna be plus one. Let's try that again, plus one, copy it. Okay, on left fast, paste it, change that to 10. On right, paste it. Whoa. Yeah. Slow and methodical is the way ahead, guys. Rushing. Makes it all go wrong. Okay, and minus 10. Hit okay. That should be our heading fully programmed in all four functions. We can see that that works. So if I grab the knob, 
In fact, let me bring up that there. Okay, so we can see it's skipping the config, and of course it is. It's because I haven't engaged the line. <laughs> there we go. And okay, so it's going back to front. Nice. It is smooth. I like the work they've done on this. Really cool. Well done, guys. I'm referring to Mobile Flight, by the way. Here we go. Edit the line. It's back to front. So all we've got to do is change our pluses to minuses. Our rights to positives. And hit OK. Beautiful, let's try that. Let's bring in both screens. So I'm gonna turn it left. That's better. So it goes down left and up on the right. Fast, oh, it's so nice. Wow, that's cool. Okay, let's do the heading select button. That's straight in, work, not a problem. And out, in, out, shake it all about. Right guys, that's it. I don't want to do the whole lot. It, you get the premise. You, you select ProSim. You find the variable, and then you enter if it wants to be on press. On press is always plus one. On press to go off is zero. Zero for off. Uh, encoders plus to go up, minus to go down. If they're wired incorrectly, right? So the leads have been changed over. It's just changed the values like we just did in the last value. So that'd be entering minus one rather than plus one. So that just mixed things up completely, but in my head I know what I'm talking about. Of course, getting that across to you guys is a completely different matter. You've seen that if we don't have the right encoders selected, that we skip jumps. I've never seen that before, but that's the first time that's happened to me, but it was just a case of going into the, the encoder and selecting a different type. Now, not only does this work for ProSim, but it's just as simple for any other panel. So if you're using the Cessna, if you're using, let's just take the G1000 for example, and uh, input, so G1000 joystick, I don't know, let's just go through it. Instead of selecting uh, input ProSim, let's just set Microsoft Flight Simulator. That should give us a, a, a database that we can search and G1000. And then these are all the functions that you can assign to the G1000. So if you've made a G1000, you select the function that you want. As long as you know what that function is, so oh, these are the control pads. What would I normally use? Yeah, there you go, there's the buttons. So flight director press, uh, FMS, flight plan. You just select it, it's no different. It has just become so simple. Guys, that's it from me. I hope that helps. Any issues, hit me up on Discord. That's the easiest way to get this resolved. Until later, Carl out.